Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with this week's mail. Up first is Brandon from Lexington, Kentucky. Longtime viewer and very generous sender of things to the show. Uh, Brandon sent in the 1978 Muppets here. Uh, these are very early Muppets figures. I don't know if they... I, you know, I should have looked it up to see if these predate the uh, Fisher-Price Adventure... Uh, Fisher-Price Little People versions. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but we've got Fozzie. We've got Rolf the Dog. And we've got, of course, uh, the man himself. Uh, host of the show... My mentor, Kermit the Frog. Um, this, uh, I, I honestly, I didn't, uh, I didn't do my research before the show on these, uh, other than to look up to see that they were copyright dated 1978. Uh, they have one point of articulation, right? Because his hand doesn't move. Uh, and I don't know if they went with a thing or a stuff, or if they were just a package of figures, or how that worked out. But uh, they're really great, really great details. Uh, and you know, they got paint and stuff on them for 1978. I think they're pretty fantastic. Uh, I've also got the five POA uh, Jedi training outfit Ray here. Um, I don't have a lot of the five POA figures. I have some, but uh, this is definitely one I didn't have, uh, and I was surprised to see that she still had her little uh, Han Solo blaster on the side there. Easy. That's cool. Um, this uh, Brandon also sent in this weird Yondu figure. Not weird. It's just uh, it's weird to me that uh, there is a figure. That, I mean, these are almost it's almost six inch scales. It's like a five inch scale figure. Uh, you know, ball and socket head elbow swivel elbow uh, joint there uh hips but then no knees and i you know i remember seeing these figures heck they might even still they, there might still be some on the shelves uh i just thought it was weird that they'd have elbows and hips and neck and everything but no knees uh but i do like this interpretation it, honestly if they had knees and it's like this scale i feel like at this scale they should have knees if these were three and three quarter inch figures i wouldn't even i wouldn't even notice it and i would be saying why does it have elbows but at this scale i feel like it should really have knees and uh, I like this animated styling. I, I know there was a, a Guardians of the Galaxy. I think there was a very brief one season, maybe, of a cartoon. I didn't see any of it, um, but I'm assuming that's what this is from. Uh, I like the style a lot. Uh, and uh, I don't know if uh, if it had just been a little bit different, I might have uh, I might have grabbed that whole set. It's you know what? It's I'm probably just looking for a reason not to have collected it because I already collect too much stuff as it is. Uh, Brandon also hooked me up big time. <laughs> Uh, with Fen Rao, who I had been looking for. He was one of those figures that ended up, I think it was from the Rogue One uh, figure waves. Uh, they threw him in there. He's from the Rebels, uh, Star Wars Rebels animated series, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, I missed a few episodes there. In fact, I think I missed a whole season uh, that would have included him. Uh, but this thing, I mean, this is... This is my aesthetic right here, <laughs> Boba Fett. I mean, this is, you know, this is Boba Fett and Ace McCloud from Centurions had a baby. Uh, and, you know, I, I this wave got skipped at regular retail. It didn't really show up in a lot of places. I think they ended up at, like, Entertainment Earth, uh, maybe. Uh, I just know that uh, for a while there, the prices his wings go in a little bit. This thing doesn't attach too well. They really should have put a peg on the back. And uh, his guns fall over his hands pretty easily. And his helmet does come off. I mean that's like, I I don't know how you I don't know how you design a, a more appropriate figure for someone like me for for the kind of stuff that I really that intrigues me about uh, action figures. That's pretty much it. Uh, so big thanks, big 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 thanks to Brandon uh, for all the stuff he sent in. He sent in quite a few other things uh, in the box. Uh, for everything you sent in there, Brandon, uh, but most especially for hooking me up with uh, Fen Rao. Uh, up next is Mike from Montevallo, Alabama. Uh, Mike sent in this uh, She-Ra book that's sitting here, The Trouble with Doubles, hardcover, no less. Uh, he says it's for Mrs. Toy Galaxy, but we'll see if she watches the show uh, and that that might just get added to my collection. Uh, Mike also sent in the Imaginext guy here, who, to me, uh, looks like Minion from... Uh, Megamind. I don't know if that was intentional on their part or if it was just like, hey, you know what? Uh, the the idea of a a fish in a mech suit and a in a armored bodysuit like that is pretty much a universal concept. Uh, nobody can really put a copyright on that. But I dig that dude. I dig that whole series of figures. I don't have many of them. There's definitely more that I would like to get, especially the more recent ones. Uh, that wave hasn't really shown up in my area. That has the uh, muscle tributes and the battle beast tributes and the uh, uh, Fisher Price Adventure uh, people tributes. I'd really like to get to, to grab those. Uh, Mike also sent in the uh, these guys. Uh, he called them Galaxy Laser Team. Uh, pardon my ignorance. I don't really know much about them. As far as I can tell, they're just sort of uh, like army men, but space guys and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me know if uh, if you know anything else about them. I can Google it. So 
Don't just give me a copy and pasted Google explanation or anything. Let me know if you guys have uh, seen those things before. I'm sure I've seen them in the bo bottom of like flea market boxes and stuff, but I don't know. Are they still on shelves now? Is this something that only was out in the, the 60s? Are these Mark's toys and I just wasn't aware of them? I don't know. It's uh, something for me to look into. Uh, Mike also sent the uh, <laughs> Boba Fett uh, Hot Wheels car here, which uh, I believe was uh, either in last last week's uh, Dan in the Photo Booth P.O. Box Pickups episode uh, or the previous week's, one of those two. And uh, look, I appreciate this. I'm very thankful that uh, Mike sent this in. <laughs> I'm honored that you were thinking of me. But I am not looking to start a set of these. Uh, I, I already have uh, I'm approaching 400 Boba Fetts. I don't need to, I don't. I don't want to get into a full uh, Boba set uh, of, I don't want a whole parking lot of uh, Boba Fett uh, action figure, uh, excuse me, cars. But thank you very much for sending that in, Mike. Uh, Mike also uh, did want to add to the Boba set, uh, and he sent in this vintage Kenner Fett. Uh, this is number, focus, this is number 389. Getting very close to having to do another episode here, another update uh, on the Boba set. Lots of paint wear on this, looking great. He even included this tiny little stand for me. Uh, very much appreciated there, Mike. Next up is Anthony from Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, Anthony had previously sent me a sticker uh, that had this same uh, Super Mario Boba Fett uh, design on it. Uh, but this time, uh, a Anthony hooked me up with uh, the pin, which uh, I high quality, looks great, super cool, very honored. Thank you very much for that. Uh, go check out his uh, Instagram at abh1979, abh1979. Uh, and I will definitely, he's got a, a whole collection of other Boba Fett pins that he's picked up from other pin makers and stuff uh, that I am also going to have to pick up from other pin makers. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff there. He's also got a really great uh, uh, full-size uh, helmet uh, that is uh, painted in the style of the vintage helmet that uh, I think is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Steven from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, coming out with the Crab Onslaught, the old Toy Biz Build-A-Figure Onslaught. The original onslaught uh, build a figure piece this uh, this gets me very close to completion uh, I think I've got I think all I'm missing now at this point I don't think I'm gonna get these arms on here because I think they're gonna take some pressure to get them on but I've got both arms upper and lower torso and a leg looks like all I'm missing at this point uh, oh you know I think I actually do have the uh, the crab cape thing shell uh, in my bin of stuff. I forgot to grab that, but uh, yeah, looking for a leg. Uh, definitely need to get that last left leg uh, to complete that, but thanks to uh, thanks to uh, Steven for getting me one step closer, a big step, a heavy step. <laughs> um, uh, next up is Brennan from Garnet Valley, Pennsylvania. Uh, Brennan sent in some Build-A-Figure parts as well here. We have the Dormammu right leg, uh, and the two glowy uh, skull heads. Uh, I'll be honest, I have lost track of where my Dormammu is in terms of uh, completion at the moment. Uh, I forgot to also grab that before I set up for this video. My apologies. Either way, uh, these skulls are the best, and if I, even if I did happen to have these already, uh, you can't have too many glowing, magical, translucent uh, skull heads. That's all good. Steve from Fife, Washington, uh, sent in some tiny figures. I'm going to move these guys out of the way here. Slide, guys. Ray! Uh, Steve from Fife, Washington, sent in these tiny little figures that uh, he wasn't using at any time. Uh, at the time, he uh, obviously has seen the show enough to know that uh, I dig Boba Fett and I dig Translucent. So uh, while we have Bizarro and Shazam and Flash and Lex Luthor and Green Arrow... Uh, there's also this tiny, I assume this is from a uh, one of the Monopoly games, I think. Tiny Boba Fett uh, and Translucent Green Arrow. So I will definitely uh, find a place in those respective collections for those tiny pieces. Chris and his son from Audubon, New Jersey, both fans of the show. Uh, they send in this. All right, I, gotta, I definitely got to slide some folks out of the way here. Slide, slide. Because uh, in the back, we have this incredible... Oh boy, there they go. Incredible, custom-made Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet, uh, complete with uh, video game on screen. I love the little pins uh, being used as the joysticks here. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know how long it takes to make something like this, but it is, uh, it's fun. It's to scale. I love it. I stood in front of this thing for 
hours, and uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very honored, very pleased to add this to my personal collection. I did recently pick up a set of the um, uh, movie turtles, the neck movie turtles, and uh, this will go nicely with those. Um, and and this will definitely be popping up in uh, our videos uh, because we're always looking for fun, you know, six inch scale props to to throw in there. Uh, we've been using the same board game as a background for like three years now. It's time to upgrade that thing. Uh, and hey, you know, if you're a, if you're a diorama maker, I don't know, get in touch with me and let's uh, let's talk. Uh, I'm looking for some some interesting things to put in the background of our videos. But uh, this was, uh, again, from uh, Chris and his son. They, so they sent this, uh, and as if that wasn't enough, uh, they also know I'm a big fan of uh, Michael Keaton's uh, Vulture, the MCU Vulture, and they uh, also gifted me this uh, tiny little adorably villainous bald Michael Keaton uh, <laughs> Vulture figure. Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty close. I don't know how many other Vulture figures actually exist that I don't have at this point. Uh, there really weren't that many, and I am still... Sore about the fact that no import company, other than like Hot Toys, uh, bothered to. Uh, no Figma, no Figuarts, no Mafex. Y'all, you're all a great disappointment to me. That is a very, you can hear it in my voice. Uh, thanks to Chris and son there. James from Oakland, California sent in a bunch of Marvel Legends figures. Almost the whole Apocalypse Waves. Mul uh, Multiple Man, Wolverine, Sabretooth, Gladiator... Uh, and then also Jessica Jones and uh, Iron Fist from the uh, SDCC set. Um, Iron Fist, just because he wasn't really a big fan of the character. Uh, and then Jessica Jones, this is actually, I believe this is the body from the SDCC, SDCC set. Uh, but this is the head from the regular uh, Man Swamp release uh, that uh, he swapped out because he liked the other head better. But uh, that's cool. I've got lots of female heads that I can use that particular body for. Uh, and I may just leave it on there like that, just so she's got an alternate look. Uh, and, I don't know, this is kind of weird. I mean, it's I obviously I saw Defenders. I saw the first. I haven't watched the second season of Iron Fist yet. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this figure. I appreciate it. It's good to have another figure with, uh, you know, casual clothes uh, in, the, in the collection, especially this one because he's wearing sneakers. Uh, so that's cool. And, I mean, just having all these other figures is... Uh, you know, awesome. These claws are a little messed up, but uh, I did recently get a set of uh, uh, claw, custom claws in from uh, Casting Cave, uh, so I'll definitely be swapping those out with uh, better claws. But this is actually a pretty impressive figure. I'm not sure if we're going to do an actual review on it, uh, but I was impressed with how, how well this figure came out because I, I wasn't even sure that I, I wanted it. Uh, the brown suit is really my Wolverine, uh, but this head is nice. The way they did the pads on this uh, and that it works with the butterfly joint, digging all of it. Very cool stuff there. And then after that, we've got Steve all the way. There's a lot of Steves today. Steve all the way from the UK uh, sent in the... That means this That means this is super legit. This, this Doctor Who figure came all the way from uh, the UK. It was blessed. Uh, and uh, so this is... I, I love translucent figures. That's why this has a perfect home in my collection. But I don't know anything about Doctor Who other than the barest minimum basics of the character concept uh, and the show if you had if, if, if this hadn't been labeled 10th doctor i i would not have necessarily known so this is the david tennant 10th doctor he is uh wears a suit uh and i don't know why he's necessarily clear but uh i don't really care <laughs> uh I, i'll take it i love clear action figures obviously uh and that's a really unique unique piece uh, and in fact, I think it is only the, it's the second Doctor Who figure in my collection. I have the, uh, I don't, I don't remember what the character's name is, but it's the, it's the space suit that has like the skull face in it. I have that figure. Uh, and then I also have, uh, I have a Sherlock, a Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock figure that is made by the same company, which I believe it's actually a Doctor Who figure body, but I'm not hundred percent positive about that. Uh, but that's cool. Um, thank you for that, Steve. Uh, Robbie from Roanoke, Alabama, sent in the, uh, some of them are now uh, on the ground, the uh, Imperial Army Regiment here, uh, including, uh, we've got uh, Force Awakens Flame Trooper, we've got Empire Strikes Back Snow Trooper, we've got Empire Strikes Back uh, AT-AT Driver, uh, Rogue One Death Trooper, and then of course Gus there from the Foosh. Um, Awesome to have all of those. Uh, very much appreciated. I, I I have all of these figures already, uh, but this is you know you, it's 
It's army building. You can't have too many of those things. Oh, geez. Uh, bef before I forget, uh, take take a step back here. Uh, James from Oakland, who sent in the uh, Marvel Legends, uh, Sabretooth, Wolverine, Gladiator, all those guys. Uh, yeah, he also uh, he also sent in this uh, duo, this duo of uh, vintage Star Wars action figures. Uh, two of my favorites, Bespin Han, and uh, of course uh, Boba Fett number three ninety. <laughs> He's getting close. Uh, Boba Fett 390 for the Boba Set. Uh, he's another one. L nice wear. Good joints. Little discoloration. Just the way I like them. And uh, hey, Bespin Han's nice too. Uh, thank you again to Brandon, Mike, Anthony, Steven, Brennan, Steve, Chris and Son, James, Steve, and Robbie. Thank you for hanging out for a few minutes and listening to me talk about toys. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you to those who are. Wave to all our Patreon supporters as their names scroll by. Head over to patreon.com slash toygalaxy if you want to join them. Later.